Hello, my very most beautiful Aquarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your December monthly reading, and this reading will be for the whole month of December. Now it is a general reading, and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Aquarius, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may it please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aquarius' energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, we are going to take a look and see what's going on for you. Actually, we're going to get two potential outcome cards as well. Wow. Okay, so I like this. You know, at first I was a little, it's a little bit heavy, but it turns into something really nice. So let's go ahead and just get into it. For your general overall energy, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is feeling a lot like self-care. Um, really just taking care of yourself. There's some really nice com things coming in that you can't quite see yet. I really do like it. And it does kind of seem like it's all stemming from um, a major decision that you're making here when it comes to a specific person in your life, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles, I think you're choosing to invest into yourself. You're choosing to take some time for you. You're choosing to put some effort into yourself. And it's going to it's gonna have this beautiful rippling effect. Um, it's bringing in a lot of happiness for you. It's bringing in, you know, a major weight being lifted off your shoulder. I feel like there's somebody here that you guys are choosing to, to really move on from, to really let go of. Um, even if you guys have been in separation from this person, um, there's this energy of you know, maybe them wanting to come back, but I feel like you guys are making your mind up here. There's something here. We're going to need to get into this, but I do feel like um, just in making that decision, two wands in reverse, just just in making the decision, um, a huge weight is lifted off you guys, and you guys get a lot of happiness, and it's like because you're clearing out the energy space, there's space for something brand new to come in, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. We have the three of cups in the reverse in the headspace. Yeah, I do feel like there's somebody here that could be trying to um, you know, trying to get back in your good graces, trying to get back in your energy, wanting a reconciliation, but I don't see it. Okay. I don't see you going for it. The Knight of cups in the reverse in the heart space. You don't look at this person the same way anymore. Okay. The dream, the Knight of cups is a dreamer, a visionary. You don't look at the dream and the vision the same way that you used to. Okay. It's not the same for you anymore. I really do feel like you're like after everything that's happened and there's definitely been a lot that's happened between you and this person because you have the five of swords. Okay. Um, feeling, and especially in this deck, you know, it's really feeling very betrayed, very backstabbed. Um, and this person, you know, they're looking back. It's like they're looking back at what they've done, but they're not even sorry. Um, they don't even seem sorry. Okay. And I feel like you're seeing this, you're seeing this person for who they are, you're seeing everything that's happened. And you're like, I can't even look at you the same. It's a very disgusted kind of energy that I'm feeling here. Okay. And I feel like that's why you guys are choosing to really just put this energy into you, put this time into you. And it's really paying off here for you. You have the three of pentacles in the reverse for the action. Like I said, I really don't see you choosing to want to work on this. You guys, you feel like you guys don't want the same things. You're not on the same page. You don't get along well. Um, and it's because of everything that this person has put you through. You're like, I just can't see it. I can't see putting any more effort and energy into this with that three of pentacles in the reverse. But your outcome Okay, your potential outcome then is the two of cups and the four of pentacles in reverse. So because you're choosing to release something here, to let go of something that maybe you've held on to for a long time, maybe you've given this person chance after chance, you know, maybe this was somebody you were in a long term committed relationship with, just take it how it resonated as a general reading. Um, but because you're choosing to let go of this, the four of pentacles in the reverse, um, you're freeing up the energy space and a, a true partner is coming in with that two of cups. Okay, the two of cups can also be you and your higher self as well. So I do feel like you're really trusting yourself. You're really trusting your intuition at this time and knowing what's best for you. Um, you and your higher self are really, you know, really just in sync right now. You're really aligned and you're doing what's best for you. You know that it's time to release something here. So we're going to go ahead and get some 
cards for the person that you're dealing with. We'll see what their energy is towards you. Got the Queen of Pentacles that just fell out. So they know. They know that you're taking care of yourself now. They know that you're about to have a glow up. That you're putting the time and effort and energy um, that you used to give to them into yourself. And think about all the time, effort, and energy that you have spent and expended on the situation. Thinking about them, worrying about them, dealing with them. You know, think if you even put a quarter of that energy into yourself, what that would look, what that's going to look like. And that's what's happening here. Um, that's what's happening here in December. You're making new choices. You're going to be starting the new year um, in a brand new way. And it's, it's going to bring in some really beautiful things for you. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yep, yeah, you're not committing to this anymore. But let's go ahead and get their energy towards you. Knight of Swords. So that's where that Three of Cups, why you're having to deny it. The Knight of Swords, you're definitely going to be getting communication from them. The heart space is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. I feel like because of your response, um, they do feel very let down. They feel like a little bit of a hopeless having to give up energy. Um, I don't feel like they want to, but I feel like you're making it very clear to this person that you're done. Yeah, their true intention is the Seven of Wands in the reverse. They were hoping that you would lower your guard. They were hoping that you would lower your defenses, um, but I don't see it. The death and the reverse, or the death and the rebirth for... The potential outcome here or for the potential action here so things are going to have to come to an end this person is stepping into some acceptance with this energy um that things are really over between you this time that you mean it this time there's something different and they're really having to accept that here um in a really big way and i do feel like this person is going to be shooting their shot in december okay with this energy they are going to be reaching out they are going to be shooting their shot here but they're really quickly finding out that it's not going to get them anywhere so let's get their potential, ah, the potential action cards, the seven of cups, or the potential outcome cards are the seven of cups and the nine of swords. So a lot of emotionally overwhelmed for them, a lot of in their head thinking about it. They're actually really stressed out now at this time because with that energy with the nine of swords and the seven of cups, they're overwhelmed and stressed out because this is different. They didn't expect this. They really did expect to be able to um, get their way with you, to be able to um, get you back. And now that they see that it's different this time. Um, that's really hitting this person hard. Yeah, they want they they expected you to lower your defenses to them. They expected you to just let them right back in. And maybe in the past you have because you love them or because you had hope or because you saw the best in them. You know, something like that here. But the betrayal has just been too much and you're not getting past it this time. You don't even look at this person the same way. And it's working out really well for you because while they're sitting here, you know, overwhelmed, stressed out, confused, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out what to do from here, you know, you're releasing this and moving on and something brand new is making its way to you. So I really don't feel a need to clarify too much. Um, we're going to clarify. There's a couple things, but I don't really feel the need to do too much here. It, the energy is pretty clear to me. But I want to clarify this Two of Cups. Tell me about this Two of Cups energy. Tell me about this Two of Cups energy. What is this Two of Cups here for? Ooh, okay, we're going to take them because they just jumped out. The King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness, you can't make that up. Look at that. Beautiful energy, you guys. Beautiful. That's what you guys are bringing in. A new partner. Um, Could be a Scorpio with this energy. You got Fixed Energy and King of Cups. Scorpio Energy twice. So it could be a Scorpio that you're bringing in. You also have Cancer here with the Two of Cups. But um, got the Ace of Swords as well. So it doesn't have to be any of those signs. They could just have that somewhere in their chart. But the Ace of Swords is, you know, a major breakthrough. And you're finally going to understand why everything has happened up to this point. Why everything has worked out the way that it did. Um, You know, maybe you didn't understand why you had to go through the things you went through with this person here. Um, But with this Ace of Swords... You know, that's a major breakthrough. That's a major realization. Um, so I do feel like it's all, like all of a sudden you're going to understand everything. All of a sudden you're going to be like, I know exactly why it couldn't work out with them. I um, mean, it's because of this person that's coming in. You know, they love from a very deep well. They're very emotionally mature. Um, and think you're going to want things to move forward in a really big way with them. So I really love this for you. There's something really special coming in for you. And it's coming in almost like as a reward, as a blessing um, for you releasing something that you know isn't good for you. By you knowing your worth here, um, the universe is giving you somebody who does match that. So we're going to get you some confirmation, clarification, and some advice now. 
Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, what confirmation, clarification, and advice do we have for my very most beautiful Aquarius, please? Confirmation, clarification, and advice for my very most beautiful Aquarius. Confirmation, clarification, or advice, please. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Absolutely, like I said, because you're knowing your worth, because you're standing up for yourself, the universe is going to match that. That's like a, it's a blessing because you, you guys are like, no, I deserve to be treated better than this. I deserve more than this. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. I do feel like this is that confirmation that you are going to be hearing from this person. Okay, you are going to be getting some communication from them. Absolutely, I believe that. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I do feel like a lot of you guys are going to be choosing to put this behind you here with that energy. I do feel like you're going to be getting you're going to be getting um, communication from this person, but I do feel like you guys are going to be putting your foot down. You're you're done this time. Um, you're you're standing up for what you what you want, what you deserve, what you know you're worthy of, and how you want to be treated. And you're getting rewarded for that by a really, really beautiful connection here. So that is what I have for you, my loves. And if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when we do our monthlies, mid-monthlies, weeklies, bonuses, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.